the choice they're going to make after May is whether they should pause or not. They've implied, based on the median dot and their dot plot, and we can talk about the range of views that the Fed, but let's work with the median for now, just for the purpose of this conversation. One more hike and wait. And you said pretty clearly, you've made it very simple, there's three scenarios here. Pause, and then you pause. You wait through the rest of this year. You pause, and then maybe you cut. Or you pause, and then maybe you have to start hiking again. Of those three right now, where are you leaning? So I can tell you what I think the Fed will do. The Fed will hike in May, then it will pause. Okay, and then we're going to have a real question as, is this an anchored Fed strategically or is it, this continues to be a flip-flopping Fed? And I hope that this Fed gets anchored. You know, my view and Secretary Yellen's comments are going to reinforce this view is we're living in a world of deficient aggregate supply. The supply side is not as elastic as it used to be because of general political issues, because of transition issues, because of companies looking for more resilience. So if you are anchored by that view, you will take a different approach to interest rates. The Fed is not anchored by this view as yet. And that's why you see the two-year. You know, I smiled when I saw the New York Times, of all newspapers, the New York Times talking about the bond market and calling it bonkers. Yep. And it has been bonkers. Look at the two years. Look, look what, what is, it's moving again today. You've said this Fed is too data dependent. Is that what you're saying Excessively right now? data dependent. It has to have a longer term view. It has to be anchored by some strategic view of the economy. Of course, it's a gamble. But without that, even cash management becomes really hard. Just again, look at the volatility in the two year. Well, the IMF's taken a view, haven't they? They have. They've said we're going back to the pre-pandemic world of low interest rates. Do you sense that's the Fed's view? Um, I don't know what the Fed's view is, and that's one of the problems. I don't know what the Fed's longer-term view is. Um, it's interesting. I mean, Olivier Blanchard has taken the same view. You know, I am not there. I think we live in an economy that's supply pressured for the next few years. So I do not see inflation going down quickly. I do not see interest rate going down quickly. But those who simply extrapolate the past argue that we, this will happen.